Hey, what's up to everybody out there? Welcome to another edition of the Roundtable Talk. I am your host, C Money, and we are back again. Earlier, I did a video at Fun Spot Orlando. Now I'm doing the video at um, Old Town. I'm gonna show you this is the entrance to Old Town. I just got here. Shoney's. If you ever heard of Shoney's, that's a kitchen that used to be. I don't know if it's actually like the same kitchen as the old Shoney's used to be. We'll get into that in a little bit. This is a car in Old Town, and we're gonna start walking. Um, the fish bar. There's a fish bar here. I'm gonna tell you about that. The fish bar is basically a spa where you can put your feet inside of a fish tank, and the fish eat at your food. It tickles, from what they say and stuff this is extreme ninja challenge i've never seen that um there's a sign old town this is nathan's now the funny thing about it in south florida we really don't have a nathan's in south florida but you know they have it as you can see fun spot is over there but that's for another episode right now we're focusing on old town so i'm gonna walk old town now, i visited old town back in you know last year and it was nice if for what it was what old town is is basically if you can look and see it looks like it like an old country western type shopping place you know where you know you can see it kind of looks like an old country or no like like an old like an old town that's why it's called old town so basically that's what it is um there's plenty of restaurants and stuff and this is the thing about Old Town. If you're a person that don't like to do rides and don't like to do theme parks or don't like to do stuff like Fun Spot or whatever, this will be a perfect place for you to go. Because what you'll do is you'll send your kids off to Old Town. I mean, you'll send your kids off to Fun Spot and the parents or whoever, you know, can walk around, eat, shop, get drinks here at Old Town. There's the Disney gift store. There's a bar. Of course, more of old um, fun spot. Walk around, we're gonna see some more. Um, and the thing about Old Town is it separates fun spot into two. Um, so because in the back of Old Town, there's more fun spot rides now. I've been to a few of these places. I've never purchased nothing, but I've been to a few of them. I'm gonna go and follow them because I don't. Oh, this is the haunted house that I've never been in, but I've seen videos of it on YouTube. If you go to YouTube and look, they have, this is a haunted house. That's a 24 seven haunted house. Oh, it's closed on Mondays. Okay. It's closed on Monday, so um, I mean, I've never wanted to experience that honey house, but closed on Monday, this is another bar, of course. Um, there's a lot of bars and restaurants here. One of the places that I haven't been to yet that's here that I want to go to is A&W. There is an A&W here, and you know, Fun Spot is over there, but that's another video. There's an A&W here, which is, coming because we there you know there used to be a and w's in south florida and if you see my recent past videos it talks about a lot of places that have that don't exist back in south florida no more and a and w is one of them um there's another fish spa where you can put your fish inside of your shoes inside of the fish and all that so that kind of makes sense so okay i'm gonna come over here this is a daiquiri bar this is a beef jerky place and here's i visited this arcade when i was here last year i don't know where my where my car is for this arcade um we're gonna walk around a little bit this is like a freely arcade like you can walk in you can walk out oh wow they have my game with a fortune there's an old deal is closed off. It's relatively a small arcade. This is a small arcade, but if you come, you know, you can come here or 
whatever. I don't remember where my card is at, but I, that's the hot seat, like some type of, I think it gives you a little bit of an electric shock, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay, let me keep going. This is, fun spot is over there, but there is more fun, fun spot rides if you go to the back. So you're gonna get a little bit of the fun spot, ex, fun spot experience. Oh no, fun rides, I hope this is not, but I think it is. I think it is, fun rides, oh well. I was coming here because I wanted to purchase something from them, but they're closed. And the great magic hall, there's a magic show. Um, this is a place where they can do magic shows. I may go and ask how long is the magic show because I may want to go to the magic show. And this is like a little crystal, like a little, I don't know how would you call this, a mineral store. There's a lot of, you know, mineral stores and a lot of interesting outlets. You know, the soap company, there you have that. You have another bar, a sake bar. Um, you have a lot of places, this, you know, a lot of, it's like an antique area, which is not bad, the Dragon, it's not bad, this is the vapor store where you can vape and Tony's Antique, I didn't see, oh, we passed A&W, oh, oh, I'm gonna have to turn around and go back because we did pass A&W, um, that's a popcorn, looks like a popcorn shop. Oh wow, it looks like this part of Fun Spot is closed. Um, let's see. You have Tilt a Wheel. There's a show at 7 p.m. But we're not going to get the show. There's the Screamer. There's the Carousel. There's the Tilt a Wheel. There's what you call a hurricane. So I'm guessing that this part of Fun Spot is closed off. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I didn't see it until after I did the show. Um, during the weekdays, they say Fun Spot limit their workers because I guess it's not as busy on the week, during the weekdays, but you actually, you know, they say you have to wait a little bit longer. And the thing about it is when I was there, after I did the video, it actually was like some of the rides didn't have ride attendants, so I had to wait for a ride attendant to come to the rides because some of the the riders, the, the, the ride attendants, they rotate the ride to different rides. I might eat at AW. I might eat at AW, but you know, I'm here till midnight. Well, not here till midnight. Fun Spot is open till midnight, so I might be here till mid you know i might eat at a and w the only thing is i have to get something light for now because i want something light uh, but at last if i'm amazed i must post a 30 minute live performance okay i might do it i might do it um i need to go back on the other side no, but we're gonna stop at A and W first, and I'm gonna go back on the other side. I'm gonna show you some of the areas up here. Um, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be a short episode because there's not much you can see from Old Town. Old Town is like you walk down one way, turn around, walk down that way. Oh, they have chili cheese fries. Okay, I I, I may do A and W. And I have not had a root beer float in a while, and that would be something i'm gonna look up their menu i do I, all a and w all american food um if you like myself one of the people you're when you go further north and go further north what time they close does it has the hours on here because i want to know what time they close so i can have a better understanding of you know because i don't want to be here and then you know I don't want to go in there not close. Okay, let me walk across the street. Oh, they're going to game room that I might be playing later on. Um, I'm going to go get my upgrade, $10 upgrade for Fun Spot. This is a tattoo parlor. This is the shooting alley. I guess you can go shooting. Oh, this is the actual shooting alley. You can shoot here. That's like one of the 
cars from the movie Cars. Okay, you should marry. Something I might do. This is the fish spa where you can put your feet inside the fish. Uh, somewhat, this looks like downtown Delhi. This is just a lot of things we can do. A t shirt shop. Um, instant antiques. I've visited this place right here. There's a there's a lot you can do. Okay, we're gonna walk back up to the front because basically portrait gallery. You can take a Western portrait gallery here. Um, they have a that's an 18 year old. This is a official licensed merchandise for like your know, merchandise for like sports and stuff. You can get that. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff. There's the haunted house again that is closed. And that's seen on TV store. I've seen them because they have them down in South Florida. Well, not really South Florida. If you looked at my video for, um, what you call it? Hot spots in South Florida. I did one at um, Festival Flea Market Mall. They have, um, and as seen on TV, they have two stores there. And you know, there's Auntie Anne's. I'm not a fan of Auntie Anne's, but I'm a fan of her sister partner, which is Cinnabon. And the Cinnabon they have here is at the Florida Mall. And I was gonna go to the Florida Mall because that's where my bus stop for Mega Bus is at, but I didn't go and I'm like, oh, I didn't go. You know, it is what it is. So, we're coming back to the front. Um, Give you an understanding of how Old Town the setting is because Old Town setting is real like different from anything so you will have to have the setting that you're coming to like an old western theme type setting that's a rock and roll store I guess you get rock and roll stuff um, you have kind of a lot of stuff you know, Comfort Wiz, that's a shoe store, a sushi store. I'm not a fan of sushi, you know. And then a Sushi Express, which is the same as the, the restaurant, but it's just an express. Oh, I know I'm gonna walk this way. There's Nathan's and the Ninja Place. And I'm gonna walk this way. There's Groovy, which is probably like a, uh, 70s theme type store. I'm gonna walk. Checkers is in the front. If you can see from there, you probably can't see that there's a checkers up there. The one thing that I always thought about, and I was here, is if you look at this dollar store, what comes up before I say anything? What dollar store does this come to mind when you look at this dollar store? You guessed it, Dollar Tree, because the the green and it says four dollar and it's and it's got green and stuff in it. So it gives you that mind setting of Dollar Tree. So um, if you want something like cheap, like a snack or something and inexpensive, you have that. There's a Mexican grill, there's Flippers Pizzeria. Um, so I might get a soda for my the Dollar Tree. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, for a dollar. Because every time I come here and I see it, it always gives me that family, that, that Dollar Tree reference because it's green. And basically it's like, How do you, you know, it just gives you that green Dollar Tree feeling. There's um, a Ferris wheel, which is a part of old um, Fun Spot too. I don't know if this is part of Fun Spot, but I know it's over here. A lot of these rides and attractions are mainly, I know the, the balloon Ferris wheel is part of Fun Spot, but I don't know if this is part of Fun Spot. And then there's of course a couple of hotels and stuff that's near the area. I mean, like, like I told you in the video before, you don't have to go to the major theme parks to enjoy activities. Like, if you if you stay on your resort, if you get a resort room, they have activities on the resort. If you go like to any of the local areas, they have like stuff like this, Fun Spot and Old Town, and you know they have stuff where it's inexpensive, so you don't have to pay a lot of money to enjoy coming out to these places 
you know, and I was telling one of my drivers, I say, I rather, you know, one of my Lyft drivers, and that was when I was, I, I say, I rather come to, I see the Extreme Ninja Challenge has closed, but I told them, I rather go to fun spot and places like that because it's more of I can get when it's like it's cheaper and there's not a lot of lines that you saw in the video earlier from fun spot Orlando there wasn't a line there wasn't no lines when I started leaving to come this way that's when it started picking up and a lot more people started coming out and that's because of what I told you earlier a lot of the people when I got the front spot were still at the other low, were still at the major theme parks, you know. Um, Universal Studios, Disney World, and a lot of that. So a lot of the people you're not gonna see in here. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around. Or well, let me give you a, a better view of the sign. We're at mile marker nine. That's what Old Town and Fun Spot is, Mile Marker 9. Mile Marker 9, if you look at it, Marker 9 is, those are how far you is from Disney. And my Star Island Resort is at Mile Marker 11. So I'm two mile, mile markers away. So I can actually walk from here to my resort which I will be doing this is old town y'all say hello to old town say hello to old town say hello to old town and I'm gonna go back inside of old town because I'm gonna be giving you I'm this is an old town video and then we're gonna be doing in a couple of minutes after this we're gonna be doing the <laughs> and then it, and we're gonna be doing the fun spot video and if you even if you don't want to get anything to from old times you have a checkers right here and i believe there's a pizza hut or something on the area because i know dollar tree is just a couple of minutes away from here and i walked to dollar tree from my from star island so you have options but the thing about me is when i go out like if i'm on vacation oh look oh look oh look that's one now I don't know if this is part of fun spot but I know it's on the other side but the back part that I showed you with the um, other rides that in the back of Old Town those are part of fun spot so you can use your wristband to get on them apparently they're closed but like I said when I go out of town or if I'm visiting out of town I want to eat something that is not common in my own neighborhood I don't want to eat Burger King or McDonald's or checkers or anything that nature because that's common food I get at home you want to try something different like there's not a Nathan's in my in my whole even though I'm not a fan of hot dogs they sell other stuff so there's not a Nathan's I can you know go for some Nathan's or like A&W I can go for A&W plus some and a root beer float you know because that's not in my area so I can do it and I can see now that Nathan's got a you can order place your order through the kiosk and and that's basically um it so I'm like I'm like most people, I don't know, I don't want to eat simple McDonald's and Burger King stuff and all that. You know, I want to eat something that you don't get in your own hometown, like, and stuff like that. There's some girls doing dances and stuff. Okay. So, I'm just like the same thing. Like, I don't want to eat a lot of this stuff that I can commonly eat. Well, I'm going to walk over here because this is, I think this is supposed to be a sidewalk, but I think it's um for like, on the accessible vehicles for it. Okay, so this is basically it. All right, so now you have experience from Old Town. The store that I wanted to go to was not open. I'm so mad. I am so mad. I am so mad, but I'm, I'm okay. I'll get over it. I'll understand it. Um, it probably closed early. It probably, you know, closed earlier. So, you know. And this is a discount ticket booth, I guess, to the theme parks and stuff. Oh, there's another theme park I never told you about. Legoland. I forgot about Legoland. But Legoland is not something that really people talk about. Um. 
Um, I said I was gonna get something out of the dollar, four dollar. Yes, let me go into four dollar. Gonna get me a little mini soda to drink or something like that out of four dollar. Because I'm um, want something to drink for right now to famous because I need something to drink. I don't want to eat because as of you know, you eat before you get on rise, you know, you gonna mess it up. So I just want something to drink to hold me off and probably a little snack to hold me off. Oh, there's another ride that's in the air. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, there's another ride. But you know, that's one of the other rides that's there. But okay, well, let me go and hope not. If you do come here, there's plenty of videos about old, old town. I've seen several videos about it. So I'm not the only one that have did a video about old town. I'm quite sure that I'm not the only one that did a video about Fun Spot. And I've also not, I know I'm not the one that did video about comparing the two Fun Spots. Cause I did it in the video I did yesterday comparing the two Fun Spots and stuff. So now I'm finna go into full dollar. I'm gonna purchase me a soda. Now we're gonna go inside for a dollar. Um, it, let's see. It says four dollar is a five dollar and below location. Get a little drink. I don't want a Pepsi. I don't want a Sprite. I don't see Sprite, so I guess I'll take Pepsi. A Coke. Something to snack on. Where is the snacks? I don't know where the snacks at in the store. This is actually my first time in the store. Oh, yeah, they have oh, they have crunch and munch. But they have a wide variety of stuff. So let me see what I want. I don't want nothing too big. I just just want something small and simple. Cheese it's the whole cheese it's. I might do cheese. -its. That'll probably settle me until I get something to eat for right now. So I'll do cheese. -its. That's the eat. Okay. All right. Let me go out. Head out. Just something to do. I'm going to go and then I'm going to have some snacks. And I'm going to. Okay. Oh, sorry. You? Uh, you could. Yeah, probably. I guess I could. Uh, oh, I put my money up. Thank you. You too. Okay. A lot of these stores don't have they opening. I'm gonna Google for a dollar because for a dollar looks like it, it can be like an actual like company company like it's like an actual area like an actual like corporation like Dollar Tree but you know I'm just amazed for a dollar is not being well I'm not gonna do no allegations I'm sorry I'm not gonna do it but I'm surprised that there isn't a confrontation between four dollar and Dollar Tree because of the simulation this similarity to their logos like even though Dollar Tree logo is basically a dollar and at the top of the dollar is a tree for a dollar is basically the same color as Dollar Tree so you would have guessed that Dollar Tree or for a dollar has you know similar but you know it is what it is okay I'm gonna go take a seat 
somewhere that I can find a seat. And, oh wow. Well, I thank y'all for watching this episode as well. We are here at Old Town Kissimmee. And by about, a car, in about the next five or ten minutes, I will be back on to do another episode at Fun Spot Kissimmee. And I'm going to do my actual comparisons and another actual comparison of, of, the, of the Christmas tree. Let me get up here. Look at the Christmas tree here because it is the holidays. Um, I, it, this is um, Thanksgiving weekend, so. Um, so, here he is. Thank you for watching this. Email me, roundtable00 at yahoo.com. Also, comment at the bottom of this page as well. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you would like to understand, this is a bathroom and this is a um, little game section. Um, they have a schedule for the for December. We're not even much in December, but okay. Old Town Entertainment District. That's what it's named. MyOldTownUSA.com is the website if you're trying to go on it. Um, this is the Round Table Talk. I am your host, C Money. I will see you in about five to ten minutes. I'm going to take a break, drink some of this, drink this soda and chips, and, and I'll see you in a bit. The Round Table Talk. <laughs>